Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up another very very interesting question from rational equations and I will be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing our denominators cannot be equal to 0. So x cannot be equal to 6, x cannot be 12. Now I will check our equation at x equal to 0. So LHS will become 0, RHS is 6 which is not true. So we can conclude x cannot be equal to 0 for our given equation. So we can divide both sides by the square root x. Let's divide the square root x, the square root x. Let's multiply. I will get 1 over x minus 12 minus 1 over x minus 6 equal to 6 over square root x. Now we will take LCM x minus 6 times x minus 12. Here I will be writing x minus 6 minus of x minus 12 minus x plus 12 equal to 6 over square root x. Now plus and minus x will be over 12 minus 6 is 6. So we will get 6 over x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to 6 over square root x. Now we can divide both sides by 6. This 6 will be over from both the sides. So we will get 1 over x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to 1 over square root x. Now I will flip our numerator and denominators. So we will get x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to square root x. Now x minus 6 can be written as x minus 9 plus 3. Minus 9 plus 3 is minus 6. Here x minus 12. We will write x minus 9 minus 3 equal to square root x. If I will consider x minus 9 as a and 3 as b, then we have a plus b times a minus b form. So we can use difference of two squares formula. We will write x minus 9 whole square minus 3 whole square equal to square root x. Or we can write x minus 9 whole square minus 9 equal to square root x. I will subtract 9 and add 9. Now we can consider our substitution. Let us say x minus 9 equal to y. So here we will write y and here also we will write y as y square. So equation will become y square minus 9 equal to the square root of y plus 9 y square minus 9 equal to square root of y plus 9. Now we will consider squaring both sides. So let us put power 2 over there on both the sides. Now right hand side is square root and square will be over. So we will get y square minus 9 whole square. This will be equal to y plus 9. Now I will subtract y square from both the sides. So I will write here minus y square minus y square. Now in LHS difference of two squares formula will be on. So I will write here y square plus y minus 9 in one bracket y square minus y minus 9 in other bracket 
and right hand side if i will take minus common out then we will get y square minus y minus 9 now take all the terms to lhs we will get y square plus y minus 9 times y square minus y minus 9 plus y square minus y minus 9 equal to 0. Now we can take y square minus y minus 9 common out. So y square minus y minus 9 is common. In other bracket, we will get y square plus y minus 9 plus 1 equal to 0. Or we can write y square minus y minus 9 times y square plus y minus 8 equal to 0. So from here I can conclude two equations. First one is y square minus y minus 9 equal to 0 and second equation is y square plus y minus 8 equal to 0. Let's solve both the equations using quadratic formula. I will write formula once minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, a is coefficient of y square 1, b is coefficient of y negative 1, c is constant negative 9. So we will get y equal to minus of minus 1, so plus 1, plus minus, square root of minus 1 square is 1, plus 4 times 1 times minus 9, so which will give us 36. I will get denominator 2 times 1, so 2. So finally, y is 1 plus minus square root of 37 over 2. We are getting two real values. Now the turn of second quadratic equation. I will apply quadratic formula once again. Minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 8 plus 32 over 2 times 1, so 2. We will get y equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of 33 over 2. Again, we have two real solutions. Now we have to check whether we have to accept all four or not. So I will write our equation. Let me write our solution once y equal to 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2 and minus 1 plus minus square root 33 over 2. Now I will write our equation x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to root x square root x. So from the condition of RHS, this radicant must be positive. So I will write x must be greater than 0 from our RHS. From LHS, this product should be greater than 0. So I can write two conditions. Either x should be greater than 12 or x should be less than 6. Now I will take intersection of these two. So I can write x should be in the interval 0 and 6 and x is greater than 12. This is our final condition on x. But our solution is in y. Now we know that x minus 9 equal to y was our substitution. So I can find from this inequality the value, the condition on y. So I will be subtracting 9 to this inequality. I will get x minus 9, 6 minus 9, 0 minus 9 from this condition. So x minus 9 is y. So y should be in the interval minus 9 and minus 3. If this is true, we will accept solution.
second condition will be from here i will subtract 9 x minus 9 is greater than 12 minus 9 so this is y y is greater than 3 so there are two conditions either y should be greater than 3 or y should be in the interval minus 9 to 3 now i will write the approximate or decimal value from our y values so i will write y equal to 1 plus square root 37 over 2 1 minus square root 37 over 2 then minus 1 plus square root 33 over 2 then minus 1 minus square root 33 over 2 let's write the approximate decimal values so this value will be 3.51 approximately this will write minus 2.51 approx value here we'll be writing 2.4 and this we can write minus 3.4 now our final condition on y was y should be in the interval negative 9 and 3 negative 3 and second condition was y should be greater than 3 so these two conditions will give us the rejection of two solutions minus 2.51 second solution and the third one so we are going to accept y equal to 1 plus square root 37 over 2 and minus 1 minus square root 33 over 2 now i will write here y equal to x minus 9 so this is equal to x minus 9 our substitution so to find the value of x we have to add 9 to both sides so we will get x equal to 1 plus 18 19 plus square root 37 over 2 minus 1 plus 18 so 17 minus square root 33 over 2 these are only accepted solutions for our given rational equation i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself goodbye